Hello YouTube, this is Ben at Code Millionaires. It's been a while since I uploaded the video due to my busy schedule and life in general. So in my previous video on how to install OS Steam on Elementary OS Juno, some of my lovely subscribers suggested that I should make some adjustments on the teams and some adjustments on the icons and there were those were lovely suggestions and I've been so busy that I couldn't attend to it on time so I've made some minor adjustments and I've decided to show it out and for those that want to try it I should try it out and give me feedback so let's jump right into it so this I'll put a link in the description below and for new users or those that are new to elementary OS and want in detail of how to set it up or how to set up the plank and every other thing you should check my previous video i'll put the link in the description so you can check out how to put the to how to get the zoom effect or how to set up the team so when you download the team you will have the icon the plank team and the team itself so in the icon i have a uh, four different icons in the, my previous video only had the dark mode and the light mode so I also went ahead to generate two more icon teams then in the teams I have um, five more in the previous video I think I had four well let's jump right into it so that you all can see it so it's uh, for those that doesn't know how to set up the teams you just come to your home folder create come to your home folder you create a new folder and you title it dot icon so you create a new folder you call it dot icons and you copy and paste the icons theme into your dot icons folder same goes for the theme itself you create another folder and you name it dot teams i explained that in my previous video you name it dot teams copy the dot teams and you add it into your dot teams folder and for the plank you look for dot local your system creates that by default so you, you locate find dot local share then you paste the plank if you've installed plank before then you just have to look for your plank where are you where are you where are you okay here is it <laughs> here it is um open the plank teams then you copy paste the plank teams or you just copy paste the folder if you don't have it to overwrite your previous plank so it's best to you So this is a plank, the teams, copy the teams and you go right into your plank folder which I've showed you dot local, share, plank, teams, then you paste the teams into that directory. Alright, let's jump right into it so you all can see what we got here. Okay, so we have um, five teams in our folder. I don't need this. All right, we have five teams here. So we start from Mojave transparent panel, Mojave dark transparent panel. Oh no, we start with Mojave Dark first, so you all can see the difference. Okay, so this is uh, Mojave Dark. Alright, so I'm gonna change the picture. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna change my wallpaper so you see the difference here. So the Mojave Dark gives you the dark panel anytime you change your wallpaper 
like the dynamic wallpaper. I mean, sorry, the dynamic panel effect. So what's the difference between the Mojave Dark and Mojave Transparent, uh, Mojave Dark Transparent Panel? So the difference is that once you choose a Mojave Dark Transparent Panel, you won't have the dark effect because I've, I mean, from my own personal experience, sometimes I set a wallpaper and I just don't want that dark line there and most times I use a dual monitor when I plug in the dual monitor you have a dark line I just don't like it it makes me feel bad so I had to make a transparent panel effect for that so you can switch in between just it's left for you to decide so it's basically the same team shade just um, the difference is a the panel then the second is a um, Mojave light. So this is for the light panel. Oh yeah, I didn't show the first one. Like I said, this the same team effect. Just we don't have the dark shade there. So in the Mojave light, this is transparent and Mojave. Mojave light transparent and we still have Mojave light which has the dark shade for those that love the dark shade and when we change our wallpaper it still gives it the dynamic effect so you can see then I have another one I called the Sierra the Sierra was an again Sierra dark modded so this one I actually don't know where I'm heading with uh, I'm heading to with it so I removed the dark um, the light dark shade at the sidebar and I mean to me it looks good but to others it might look too bad so if you like it you use it don't like it you still have four other options then let's jump right into the icons so in the icons we have um, let's go back to downloads icons we have four icons here so we start from the dark mode to the light mode and elementary mode and elementary mode mac okay so icons we go to the dark mode so the dark mode is basically gonna give you this dark effect here and if you use a light mode on that it won't look good believe me so it's best for light mode so you switch to lights where are you have a light and it looks better then let's talk about the elementary mode so the elementary mode gives you the elementary icon the default elementary icon so if you don't want to go far from the default look of elementary um, OS icon so you could use the elementary mode just the difference is that I don't like the is it the is it called the peach color or orange color I don't know I'm I'm really colorblind but I just don't like the color being the default it looks I don't like it personally so I just changed it to blue using the Mac for the icon icon color so then what we have in the fourth folder here is called elementary yeah elementary mode Mac so the elementary mode Mac then gives you this nice looking side by just the default elementary cyber so it looks good with the dark color then you have the Mac icon so if you compare together with the dark mode you see the difference here some people might like it some might not like it it's all about choice so you see so sometimes I like this depending on my mood and sometimes I just don't like it so where am I going all right 
if you observe since we've been changing the teams the plank teams changed by default so what I did was I have set this at GTK appearance and anytime you select a team it automatically changes the it changes the plank team by default but if you don't like it and you and you want to switch the shade then you can choose any color you like probably anti shade but for you to get this effect just leave it at gtk then play around with it most are the teams that come with the sorry the plant teams that come with the teams itself is already available in the plank for in the plank team folder what am i even saying but you all get what i'm trying to say here you can get the teams in the plank folder or plank directory so these are the four teams here basically the two teams are playing around with this so i think that's all i have i better set back my Mm. Oh, let's get to the Mojave look and alright I prefer the transparent now alright guys this is all I have for now so if this video was helpful in any way please put a thumbs up I'll really appreciate that I'll appreciate that and if you have any feedback or any comments or any question to ask please do that on the comment section below thank you guys for watching and have a nice day